What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land and today we are taking a closer look at what Splatoon 3 could actually mean for the Nintendo Switch. And I asked you guys in my comment sections to tell me things that you want to see very soon from Splatoon 3, being things about the game, the story, anything about the characters, whatever you wanted, and I picked 10 of your guys' comments and wishes about what you want to see soon about Splatoon 3. So if you want your comment or wish in the next video, make sure that you leave a comment at the bottom of this video with something new that wasn't shown in the video today. But we're going to get started right away, so thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Splatoon 3 and Nintendo in general. Thank you guys again, and let's get started. First one comes in from Mantis Vessel, and they want to know what the new Salmon Run mode is going to be about, and if there is going to even be a Salmon Run. That's a great question. Well, we have no clue right now if Salmon Run is going to make a return. It seems like Nintendo, believe it or not, likes to take lots of inspiration from already established shooters, such as Call of Duty as this mode is pretty much like a full-fledged zombie mode for Nintendo. Now, I don't know if they're going to continue on with different types of game modes. For instance, this new game might be something entirely different, and I actually hope it is. This was a fun game, but I hope they do something completely different than just Salmon Run. You guys already know my big wish, a Splatoon Battle Royale or something. But who knows what Nintendo is going to do for their next big side mode. And if it is Salmon Run, hopefully they flush it out a lot more, make it a lot bigger with a lot more rooms to enter, like the way Call of Duty does, where you have to unlock new areas as you progress and hopefully it's just bigger you know nicer environments i really don't know what nintendo is going to do with this but it'd be great information to get something on the next big splatoon mode and how it's going to be different from splatoon 2 salmon run next up we have waffle 56 that wants to see a better randomizer for the map rotations right now it's only two maps per hour and it's actually just kind of lame. You have to wait a whole hour to play a different map or a map that you've been waiting to play, such as a new one, for instance. It'd be a better idea if they just rotated all the maps around every match or something like that. I mean, they do it with Mario Kart. Smash Ultimate has over 100 stages, and they even do it in that game, so I really don't see the big difficulty with doing it with a game like Splatoon, which only has about 15 stages. So hopefully in the next game, they have a better way of rotating these maps in and out. So Minty wants to know what happened with the last Splatfest and how are those implications going to be added to Splatoon 3, which is a great question. We know it was Chaos versus Order and Chaos obviously won, that's why everything looks the way it does. It's kind of like a wasteland and everything's destroyed and just chaotic and instead of a nice peaceful utopia of Team order which would have been pretty cool to see i'm not gonna lie but with chaos we gotta see how this is actually going to you know imply in the actual story and is there gonna be some type of rivalry with pearl and marina or something or something happened to one of them like what happened to callie in splatoon 2 so we really can't wait to see exactly what happens with you know our idols and where they go and who's the next big idol which actually leads on to the next question jacob hammond has a lot of different things that they want to know about splatoon 3 but one of the things that stuck out the most of course is who are the new idols going to be will pearl and marina be returning is callie and marie going to be there with them or is there going to be two completely different people are there going to be some guys this time that are going to take over is it going to be kind of like a band or something i don't know that'd be really cool uh but we don't know who's going to kind of be the face of splatoon 3 or the faces of splatoon 3 if you will actually more important than you think not just because they have story implications all the time as agents but they also open up the game for you in general they show you what maps you're going to be playing on on, you know what information is going on around they have concerts during the Splatfest so these characters are always the most important when it comes to a new Splatoon title. Trollbridge wants to know about the game modes whether it be returning ones new ones how will they all mix together what's up with the game modes and that's a great question right now we have some pretty good ones but the only way to play them is through ranked match you can't casually play tower control and stuff like that you have to go into a sweaty ranked match which is just sometimes not fun when you just want to relax and play some different game modes other than just turf war turf war turf war so it's going to be very interesting to see how they handle that and what type of game modes are going to be coming this time around but i'm excited to see because i think they're going to come up with some pretty new ones and some pretty cool ones at that but it's definitely going to be an interesting thing there's a lot of game modes in splatoon right now they just need to handle them in a lot better of a way some G wants to know if Splatoon 3's campaign will be open world and more of an adventure style. Now this is something that I obviously think about and talk about all the time. And I'm actually going to go as far as to say if anything on this list happens, it's probably going to be this one. I don't see how in the world that they keep the campaign the same, especially after having that awesome Octo Expansion DLC, which 
necessarily wasn't open world uh, whatsoever. It was more challenge based. But I would love to see them completely rewrite how Splatoon handles its story mode. And for this being the second Splatoon game on the Switch, they have to do something different. They can't have the same kind of, you know, mission based levels and all floating platforms in the sky and you go down a linear path doing things very in a linear fashion. I want to see more of an adventure. You know, you going upon a giant area, exploring, inking up walls, finding secrets. That's what I think they should do. And I really hope that they do that. Great question. Jumbo Jim had a couple of good ones, so I put them together. So they want to know if you'll be able to customize pretty much everything from your weapons to your own home, like an apartment or something for your character. That would be really cool to have like a house that you can decorate and put things up and, you know, earn different trophies that you can put in like a case or something from Splatfest. Something like that would be actually really cool. But let's go to the weapons for an instant. So the weapons would be an extremely cool feature to kind of customize your own weapon that suits your own playstyle. Now, I know they would have to do some balancing things to make sure that people don't make an absolutely OP weapon, but for an instance, if somebody wants to use a bamboozler that doesn't shoot that far, maybe they can customize it and rig it to shoot very far, but maybe the accuracy isn't that great or something like that. It, you know, you increase one stat and another stat decreases, but you can make weapons based on your personal preference. For instance, I love one-shot snipers, but I also want to be able to shoot as far as I can. What if there is some type of customization where I can shoot extremely far and and it is a one shot, but the reload time is incredibly slow and it takes almost half of your ink or all of your ink for one shot. That would be something to me that would be worthwhile because I am kind of precise with my sniper. So I think I could take that risk versus reward and make a sniper just for me. That would be something really cool to do at Sheldon's new labs or whoever the new character is. Sebastian Baron asked more of a broad question. Why buy this platoon? What's the point when we already have one on the Nintendo Switch already? And it's a pretty good one with tons of modes. It had lots of updates and even DLC to it. Why buy another Splatoon in this early? Now, that was a big question when this game got revealed. I was actually surprised too that this game came out as soon as it did. So there must be some type of big driving force why Nintendo wanted to have a Splatoon 3 this soon. And why? That's the big question I think Nintendo needs to show us is why do you need this one if you already have Splatoon 2? Now, big hardcore Nintendo fans and Splatoon fans are gonna of course buy this game, but why should we buy this game? What's so grand about it and what makes it so special? Is there some type of crazy new mode that you have to get this game to play? Some crazy new weapons or some campaign that's absolutely out of this world that you have to play? That's a great question and it is kind of wondering as to why you'd want to buy this game if you already have it. I know I will buy it and lots of other Nintendo fans like me will buy it, but some people out there might think, well I have Splatoon 2 or just maybe purchase Splatoon 2. Why do I need Splatoon 3? I think Nintendo definitely needs to show that factor off and show why that people want this game. Shadow wants to know what is the point of the Eiffel Tower? We want to get some information on why that's just an upside down Eiffel Tower. You know, was there a giant wave that caused this to happen? Was there some type of giant chaos explosion or something? What's going on with the world? That is a very good question and they seem to have very big emphasis on it. I wouldn't be surprised if it had a big part of the story. If that was like kind of your starting location or something with that tower. Yeah, I think an explanation for that would be really good and I'm sure they're going to give us something. It's not just a coincidence that they keep showing it to during the first trailer. Also, if you want to be a channel member just like Shadow, you can get cool badges and loyalty perks and stuff within the chats when I live stream, which I will start back up very soon. And also just different promotions and things that I start in the future. So it's extremely cheap. Go check it out right beside the subscribe button if you want to become a member and get some cool emojis while you do so. And finally, Hube07 wants to know if there will be a new option for a brand new type of species to unlock. For instance, we finally got the Octolings. What if we get a new species in entirely like some type of shark characters or some type of jellyfish characters or something like that. That'd be cool. Right now we just have Inklings and Octolings, which I don't think we're going to get a new species really to play as, but I do think we're going to get new species of kind of enemies or something like that. I can definitely see shark enemies or villains coming to the game, and that could be pretty cool. Well, that is the information that you guys want to see the most for Splatoon 3. If you guys have more things that you want to see that were not included in this video or things that you want to be changed or happen within Splatoon 3, let me know in the comments down below. And and just go ahead and comment wish before you start your comment so that I know that your comment has to do with obviously something new and I can look at those and mark those down for the next video. Remember, comment wish followed by whatever wish you want to see added to Splatoon 3. 
But thank you so much for tuning in. Like always, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo all the time. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys all on the next one. See you guys. Bye.